Today in Aberdeen, folks are heading to the polls to select a mayor and board for aldermen. Our Quentin Smith was in Aberdeen and finds out what folks are want in their next leaders. Many Aberdeen residents say they want a mayor who will help bring more jobs and businesses to the area. But before that can happen, this is the first step, coming out to the polls and casting their vote for the candidate they think can lead them in that direction. This was a common sight in Aberdeen all throughout the day. Voters casting their ballot for candidates they think can best serve and lead the town. Voting is so important for being my age, I remember when I couldn't vote. Pastor Willie Davis Sr. is a longtime Aberdeen resident. He wants his mayor to be a person who's honest, has strong leadership skills, and is committed to helping the city grow. The integrity, you know, uh, not if you don't know what's right, seek what's right, and then do what you know is right. And I believe if we do that in this town, we'll be all right. We need strong leadership, not folks with big power. When voters showed up to the polls, many had one thing in common. They want the new leaders to create more economic development opportunities for the area. Get everything back where it was. KFC, Pizza Hut, Pizza Inn, Walmart, everything. I want it back here because I stay here. We need jobs, most of all. We need jobs. Then we need stores where you can spend your money. You won't have to take it to Amory or to Columbus or to Tupelo. Joyce Vassar has lived in Aberdeen for more than two decades. She admits she's tired of seeing her hometown being shown in a negative light. The town is known for its infighting amongst board members. Now, many residents are hoping the new leaders they're voting for will bring a new energy and create a more positive outlook for the Monroe County town. I'm hoping that when the new ones come in, that they will sit and listen and learn and discuss things and then come to a conclusion as what they need to be done for the city of Aberdeen. I hope the new administration come in and get the people to come together and do things that will benefit all of us. That this town and this city will move forward. The polls will remain open until 7 p.m. Voters are required to bring their ID and they're also encouraged to wear a face mask as they enter inside the voting precinct. Reporting in Aberdeen, Quentin Smith, WCBI News. And of course, we'll be following the races throughout the night. Be sure to tune in with us on WCBI News at 9 and 10 for the results from tonight's election.